Man, where is he? We have an episode to film. Hey, what up, dog? Man, I just got back from seeing Wreck It Ralph. We should straight up do a new movie review tonight. We we're supposed to start filming an hour ago. Oh, yeah. Well, that's fucked up. So, what are we doing today? Time management. Oh, shit. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. I'm Brian. This is Dave. We do the research so you don't gotta. Woo woo! By now I'm sure that all of our fans know that in order to succeed, you've got to put the time in the gym. Yeah, man. Your fat won't burn itself and your muscles won't build themselves. you got to put in some dedication. But really, is dedication enough? You can have the best dedication... But that doesn't mean you're going to not want to skip a day in the gym sometimes. And when you skip a day, it's hard to get back into the swing of things. Alright, so I'm glad we got each other to keep motivated to go to the gym, B. I don't know if I'd go as much as I do if I didn't have you pushing me. Yeah, well it does help to have a buddy with similar goals or someone to be motivated on the days when you aren't. So we established that it's good to have a friend to keep you accountable. But I thought we were doing an episode about time management, not accountability. Oh, wait. Something buzzing. Oh, fuck, B. I forgot, man. I gotta bounce for a minute. It's an emergency bar mitzvah. <sighs> we got an episode. Alright. Sorry about that. Uh, we were supposed to talk about time and accountability and some shit, right? <sighs> Actually, we're going to talk about self-accountability through time management. Oh, man, I'm going to start calling you the Riddler, motherfucker. Get to the point. Well, you know how most people have set schedules, whether it be school or work, or responsibility with children? Everything is on a time scale. From that, you must adhere. You know when you're expected to be there and when. Yeah, I'm feeling you. It's nice to have fitness goals and wanting those things and learning how to eat and how to lift and how to run to get those goals. It's an important step. But what if you're not taking the fitness journey alone? Or what if you are? Well, then you fucked, B. You're going to be sitting around a bunch of fat fucks eating cheeseburgers all the time while you dream about being a skinny fuck? Oh, fuck that. The first step to setting your fitness goal is to first ask yourself, what do you want? Do you want to lose weight? Gain muscle? Then you have to refine those things. How much weight do you want to lose? How much muscle do you want to gain? That's a good point. you got to know exactly what your goals are to meet them. So are you going to tell the folks at home how long it should take them to meet their goals? Nope. No? Shit, man, I'm confused. I forgot, man. I got a manicure scheduled today. I'll be right back, y'all. We got done filming the... Alright. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Nails all trimmed up and looking nice. Check that shit out. Yeah. What were you saying about goals? Yeah. You've got to set your goals. People think they want to lose 50 pounds before summer, but they just stop there. You need to break it down, and then break it down again. So, like, I want to lose, like, 50 pounds. So I should be looking at how much should I be losing a week. Yeah. Live up to short-term goals per week. That's one of the steps. You can be more successful by setting up a schedule for yourself per day, per week. And then using your weekly goal to gauge your progress. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot to have a date tonight. I'll be back. Fuck, man, it's a short episode. Come on. Uh, seriously? You need help? Uh, okay. So as I was saying, uh, here's an example. Let's say you want to gain a little muscle and lose a little fat. So you're going to want to do a little cardio and some muscle building workouts. 
So you, you create for yourself a set weekly schedule to adhere to. Cardio on Mondays and at 10 in the morning for 45 minutes and repeat that on Wednesdays and Fridays. Now for Tuesdays, you can do a full upper body workout, doing two arm workouts, two chest workouts and such, and, and then Thursday do a leg and back exercise routine. That's one way to do it. Uh, to do what? Ah, uh, God. To schedule your workouts to maximize your time. Come on, Dave, you know this. Um, I'm still not the... I'm not the... I'm not the... Shit, where's my candle? My candle's gone! <sighs> Damn it! Ah, uh, we... You need to do this episode happy, man. Right. Alright, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm back. So just like you were saying, uh, your job or your school or whatever you do, set up an assigned time to work out and know what you're going to do on that particular day. You can't manage your way out of a paper bag, Dave. And just to make sure we can finish here... What the fuck? Babe, what the fuck? Ow! Oh, that ain't cool, but... What the fuck? I could... And I could totally manage my way out of a plastic bag. Mm hmm. So just to recap, first, ask yourself, what are your goals? Make them reasonable. If you want to lose 50 pounds, don't give yourself two months' time frame. Give yourself six months, for example. Next, set a weekly goal, or even a monthly goal, to assess your progress towards the master goal. Do you aim to lose 5 pounds a week? If you're wanting to gain muscle, do you want to increase your weight on the bench press by 5 pounds? Or maybe do you want to do more reps or more curls on the arm curl than the week before? Finally, to make sure you hit those goals, create a daily schedule you can follow. It's much easier to reach your goals when you break it down and see those results week by week. And like I said, remember to keep those goals reasonable. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness.